Hi, Happy are back. Today I'm back with another video. Another BFB, BFB modding video. Um, I did something pretty cool I want to show you guys. Um, I made this. I, I worked through this yesterday and I got, got it working, so I'll show you it. Yes, I actually managed to import Mrs. Puff's Boating School. Yes. Mrs. Puff's boating school. I got it. I actually managed to import this. So, the, I'll, yeah. I'll explain this as, as we go along. Yeah, you do spawn inside there because Gary's work triggers, talk triggers in there. Yeah. But, yeah, this is Mrs. Puff's boating school. It's not, no, this isn't just the outside of it. It's also, you can go in, yeah, it's gonna be the entire thing. So yeah, this is not in Bikini Bottom. This this thing, um, the boating school is not even part of Bikini Bottom game, which is a bit weird, honestly. Because even when I was younger, when I, when, as a kid, when I played this game, I'm like, why why can't I, why can't I go to boating school? Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah, that was a bit sad actually. Like even when I was younger, I wanted to go to this location, but no, you're in downtown. They could have put the boating school somewhere in the game. Well. Now we can. So, um, I've not yet learned how the doors, how to make door triggers. I've not learned that part of modding yet. I know a lot of, I know a lot about modding now, but yeah, I don't know how that works. I, I gotta learn that, I guess. Ask for help, I guess. But anyway, we added a warp to go inside, so I'm gonna show you the inside of the interior now, right now. Just hit that button. Takes you to inside the interior, which is gonna be, yes, here we go. Now it's battle to the finish. I have to remove some of the enemies, I think, or it is too much. I don't know. I don't really care. But I guess the battle we have to take part in a battle to save this Puff Boating School. Give me oh no! Once you win, you, you gotta go in spatula. Yes, guys, we, I managed to import. I managed to import this. This is pretty sick. Uh, this is tough boating school. I think this is the cool, one of the cooler things I've done. And I and I and I'm working on a custom map, by the way. Like you, like I've talked about on my channel. You guys have seen nothing. When that you have seen that mod, I've been working on for over a year now. Um, it's actually, I'm really proud of it, but I'm actually really proud of this, and this is a small thing I just did for fun, was less than it. last night I wanted to try something, I just saw this on the bfbbmall.com, someone made a model of it, so I'm like, okay, we'll try to import it, and cross the fingers, it works, but it didn't come for roof, so I had, to, I had to make my own, I had to use a roof, I had to, and this wasn't even intended to be this good, but that looks almost exactly like the, like the boating score roof, like, I think it does. It's, it's It matches so well with the wooden floor. I did a great job with this. I didn't download this, guys. I made this. And yes, in case you're wondering, these, these mods are going to be released at some point. I have not learned how to upload these stuff, this stuff yet. And I'm gonna, I'm working on my, I'm more focused on making these mods for you guys right now. But this, all this stuff I will be uploading to, to BFDB, um, modding.com or modbanana.com or whatever. Or I'll, I'll make a download link on my channel, like a cloud drive download, download link. But yeah, see, it's even got the, it's got um, the larger, the heavy thing. Yeah. So it's, and a custom mission we have to break all the robots, defeat all the robots to get on the spatula. It's it got, it's got the good noodle board. <laughs> see everything. It's it's literally got that. If I, I I tried to find a big fat mini. Big fat mini poster picture of Mrs. Puff. I can put on her desk. So I can put like on the wall. If I ever find that, I'm gonna update this and probably this probably yeah, exactly. I might do some updates to this mod. I'm gonna try to find a big fat mini picture. I'm pretty sure I can just go online and find a picture of just yeah, just find a picture of it and then I can like code it. You know, um, replace a, a image, a texture with and just yeah, I can probably do that. With, the, with Microsoft Paint or something. I'm gonna try to get that, then I can put it on the wall. 
Just a picture of big, big fat meanie right there. Miss Puff accepts the, the insult, so she keeps it for herself. She ends up liking the picture. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do about that. But, the cool thing I need. Mean, I'm really happy I did this. I can't believe it, this. Yeah, so we did put a string roll in there. You should see I, I collected it. So now if I would have clicked the ever string rolls, it, without, I, I have to just remove, I could, I could add to that. I have not learned menu modding yet, sadly. I don't, I'm gonna have to figure that out. How to change the menu modding and stuff. I know a lot of the ever stuff. I know I'll do big carriage funds. I know I'm custom, I know I, I imported this. I know a lot about modding now. Um, I've learned over the months and years of this game. And I'm trying to learn hit and one modding. I'm getting better. I'm, hit and one modding is a little bit more annoying than this game, I tell you that, but it's not too bad, but this game, modding BFPB is pretty easy, honestly. I, like, Okay, it depends what you're trying to do, but it's a, it's because Igor made this program so 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 good. So yeah, I just love this, dude. I can't believe I, yeah, it's so good. You can just come in here now and look at all the. I had to scale this down quite a bit. It was too high. Like when I first, if you first import this model, you're gonna have it be very big. Like the SpongeBob is all the chairs and stuff are like gigantic. Like yeah, I had to I just I had to go into the industrial park editor. Scale all that down. I think I just scaled down to 0.3. I had to go that far down because it was so the model was so big, guys. It was huge. But honestly, though, I mean, I can't believe this. This is so good. I. It's such a good, a good I think I thought of. Yeah. So now you can, and this is, and and we did not add any. We did not replace any level, guys. In case you're wondering. No, I added this to the game's files. If you don't know how that works, guys, I'll teach you, I'll tell you something cool you might not know. If you want to make custom maps in this game, you don't have to replace levels if you don't want to. You probably know that by now. Uh, uh, some people that know, the people that know modding this game might, yeah, they already know that. Some people know that. I know, um, um, yeah, I know people know this, but some people might not know this. If you actually go into the game's files and just add, let's say for, you know how Downtown Bikini Bottom? The hip file stands for BBO BBO1. Hip hop which stands for downtown streets. BBO2 hip hop stands for the downtown rooftops. And BBO3 hip and hop stands for the lighthouse. BBO4 hip hop stands for close to corner, like where you bungee jump. Um, I decided to add DBO. I just went to the just industrial park editor files and copied and pasted a blank hip and hop file and we named it to BB05 hip hop. So now we can go to the custom map and it doesn't replace any of the downtown levels. So I have to go to all the normal downtown levels, but we have an extra level. So we now we can go to the to bowling school inside the interior. And if I do press this, it takes me back to BB01. I did not add a work trigger to go to where that bowling school door is, but it just takes you back to be, yeah, it just takes you back here. And you can just go right back to it. So, it just, yeah, I can't believe this actually worked for me. So, it wasn't even hard. I thought it was good. Sometimes models are a bit buggy. No, it worked pretty well. So, now, once I release this, guys, you guys can now explore. You can now play Downtown Bikini Bottom and actually go to Miss Puff Boating School. I might add some characters in there. I, I don't know. I'm probably going to update this to a little more. I'm going to probably stick. I do have to fix the button. I thought it was placed on the door, but I guess it wasn't in the editor. After, I'll have to move it a bit. That's I'll just move it a bit back. But yeah, I, I just think this is pretty cool. I made this like um, I rather put a door trigger. I gotta learn how that works. I really want to learn that one. How do you add a door trick? Like a door, you know, press R to enter. Like you know, so and so. How do you do that? I know it's some menu thing, but I haven't learned that yet. Sadly, I know I know a lot about modding this game, but I still haven't learned that shit yet. Ugh. Like this, like how you know this kind of thing. Press R to enter so and so, like yeah, that kind of thing. I gotta look into the editor a little bit, maybe. But so yeah, you can go to it and you can go right back. And the enemies do spawn in again. But I don't know how they how to despawn these guys. But I did add a um. And these actually respawn. If I were to yeah, you can keep collecting money here. So if you want to get some extra. You can just go back, you can go back and collect some money. 
Yeah. I, I actually, out of all the mini, mini mods I've made, my ambitious custom map guys I've been working on, that, that's where I've been doing that for a while. But this is a mini mod I did, and it's actually really, I'm really impressed by how it turned out. I'm still wor working on it more. I might add some stuff to it. I got to fix the button. If I know how to learn how to do door warps, I'll do that instead. But right now, I don't know how that works, so. At least we can use a button to get away with that, so. I've got a few enemies in here. Okay, you keep getting money out, see? It keeps, it keeps giving you points. Yeah, we'll watch just keep coming back. You know what? That's not a big deal, though. It's like the, the, the lighthouse, they keep coming back, so it's pretty much the same thing as, as the lighthouse. But yeah, so that's a very cool thing I did. Now, before I end this video, guys, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, actually, we'll, we'll make another video. So I'll post that in the next video. And once this mod gets, um, I'm gonna have to put all these on so you guys can play. This is definitely something I know people would definitely want to play. So yeah, it's I made a custom mission where you go in there and fight some enemies, and you just gotta you gotta go in the back and one path of the sock. Does the sock count to? Yes, it does. It does count. So I can remove a sock or learn how to add socks to the counter to the. Um, I could I, I I could remove a sock from one of the from one of the downtown areas and just put some yeah so now we can I can I'm probably gonna do that either out of me no I, I'm gonna be I don't know but that's cool as hell dude can you add more splashes for Patrick's sock collection can you add more to more of these and I, I'm I don't know that gonna show up here normally you probably have to add more but you probably can can you add more it's linked to the menus. But is there a way to add more spaxes for him to get get that'd be cool as hell. To get more spaxes from him. Or more money from Mr. Krabs. Like let's say you gotta figure that out. I do have some ideas I want to do with Mr. Krabs and something a custom map. I'm gonna probably make a when I finish my ever custom map, what's I'm working on for over a bloody year now. <laughs> it's almost done, but I'm trying to make it as good as I can. My next mod for custom mapping is gonna have a bunch of NPCs and something with missions to do. Um, the one I'm working on right now is the beach theme level, which you haven't seen, but because I have not showed you guys anything yet, because I don't want to spoil a, a, a damn thing. <laughs> uh, at least, all right, yeah, I I, I don't want to spoil anything. I want to just show you guys when it's done, uh, or at least half, at least 1.0 version. You know, I might release the 1.0. Like, I, I, there might be bug fixes you have to add, but we'll probably either I'll release a finished version or at least like you know, if it is enough for 1.0, I don't know. We'll see how I'll, I'll, I'll think about that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, if you enjoyed it, share this with your friends. Thanks guys for watching. And, see you guys in the next video. Peace.